What's up, Pisces? I am back with another one, okay? Here to deliver you another message. That message being that abundance is your birthright. And if you click off after this, hey, at least you got to hear it, baby. At least you got to hear it, because you really need to. Okay, there's already some cards coming out. If you need a personal reading, my email is in the bio. Oh. Oh, okay. Interesting. All right. So the Pisces I am talking to is someone who is having some sort of decision on giving a cup of love to someone. Some sort of offer of love. Or perhaps someone has come to you recently with this offer of love and you don't know how to take it. You feel like it's a really good offer, in fact. And if you even have any other offers going on or any other situations going on, excuse me, going on, you still are like, no, this person is top notch. They don't even compare to the rest of the people that I would be dating or interested in, okay? Not that you are, because I don't, I don't sense that you are. I'm telling you, this person has your attention. Even if you're single, still and you guys are still in the talking phase this person has your full attention they've done they are making the right moves with you they are doing what they're supposed to do but now you find yourself in some sort of conundrum i don't know if this person lives far away or it's that this might be a pisces that you're trying you guys might be at the stage to move in with each other but you're feeling you don't know if that's if it's time for you to do that. <clears throat> it might be bringing back memories from past relationships that you have maybe jumped the gun with. You moved in and it ended horribly. And so this is making you hesitant. This is making you hesitant in, in con even considering moving in with this person. You're still thinking about it, but it's like like there's forward movement there. You want you have this intention of probably saying yes. But your heart feels clouded, you're concerned, you're a little bit scared. It, 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 will, it would involve your money or affect your money in some way. Okay, this partner might not even want anything from you financially. But for you, you're like, wait, but this would move me away from certain things, certain investments that I have in my career or education or social life. Okay, so starting with this is the Two of Pentacles is about the decision that you're making but one one does seem better than the other has your attention and that's this person this person might be an Aquarius um then we have just because the person is juggling and juggling has to do with the air gravity right then we have the knight of cups again this is about you taking your cup and you don't know where to, you're taking it you have forward movement but you're unsure of where you're taking that after that we have another two you are really at an impasse you are flustered pisces you know this doesn't happen often but you're like well, god damn i don't know uh i don't know what to do i get it this is a huge investment you might have not ever seen this coming that you would have a union with someone i don't know like the way things are going are just so organic they just, it just makes sense. That's why I'm getting these twos is because you're having an argument with yourself about the alignment that you're experiencing, which that is a, a that's definitely a symptom of trauma that you've experienced in past relationships. What's hinting at that for me is this four of cups, I mean not four of cups, I'm so sorry. These are wands, four of wands. And this has to do with home and stability, but look how happy these people are. They're so excited to see you coming home and all this stuff. And do you understand like this is, uh, and this is after a really long time of you not having something like this, something healthy like this, something well-structured, well-balanced. Okay. And I know that because there's wands here that they, they, they're empty. It's, this would be, picture this as someone like you're rebuilding a home. Like it's just the wands. Like clearly there's more behind this. There's a whole castle and stuff. But this is a hint to me for you that this is, well, this is different, different, but similar. Unfortunately, you have lived with someone 
You have been married. You have had kids. Something, something that you've done this, been there, done that, and it got you nowhere. And but you're still hopeful, clearly, or else you wouldn't be dating this person. But right now, I don't know. There's some kind of decision that has been proposed to you that has you hesitant. It has you a little bit triggered, remembering the failures rather than what could go well. And I, I get that. I get that. There's, listen. I get that. That's natural. You are valid in this. I'm like feeling that someone is crying right now. Get to pause this and go get a tissue or something. I'm telling you, it is okay. It is really okay. It's okay to accept this love. I understand why you're hesitant. Here's another night. Forward movement still, but... This is a knight, knight of pen, knight, I keep saying pentacles, knight of wands. Now notice that this person is pulling back, the, reining back the horse, you know, looking over their, their path. They have not turned around. They have not fully stopped, but they are hesitant. They're simply looking to see what this is about. And this, it connects the energy with wands. It's the only other one, like this is pentacles, cups, and swords, and then wands, and then it cross with the wands. That lets me know, leading up to this decision, what is going on for you. So that's the Pisces that I'm talking to right now. Okay, you have this decision to make. Let's talk more about it. Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords, you really are at an impasse. Have you told this to them? Please tell this to them. I need you to speak. You got to speak to your person. You got to talk to your person. Can I get, that was the King of Cups that fell out. Can I get two more cards on this situation, please? Let's get two more cards. Oh, up, 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 up. Almost fell out on my hands. Can I get two more cards? One more card. Can I get one more card on the situation? Can I, oh, okay. <laughs> That's like 12 cards. <laughs> <clears throat> thank you, Spirit. Thank you, angels, ancestors, and guides for this reading, this message. Oh, okay. You know what? If that's what wants to come out. So we got the Four of Pentacles, and then we got two cards that came out together. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get into it. So, if you are wondering... If you should go for this, the answer is yes. The reality is, is that you've been waiting for this person for a very long time. Maybe this isn't something that you always thought that you would have or what it would look like. It's not the same. But you, if you're thinking this is, I'm taking a chance, then take this chance. Take this chance. This person wants you. And I do see here in the cards that you are going to, you are leaning towards picking this person, giving, not picking, giving them a, maybe, maybe you are, maybe, maybe you're thinking for you, you're thinking about marriage. You're thinking more long-term than this person is. And you're one, like this person is presenting, you know, dating. Whereas in your head, you're like, I hope this person knows that when I don't date, I marry, you know, talk to your person. Talk to your person. Make sure you're on the same you're on the same path as far as what you both want long term. Because I think this person wants the same thing with you, but there is something going on with you that I it, this conversation would only help you um, feel more confident and not feel so scared because you are experiencing symptoms of past trauma. Okay, and we don't want that to spill into something beautiful, new, um, and exciting. We don't want that, okay? What I'm also seeing here is that you need to kind of gather yourself. You need to prepare yourself for entering this cycle. You said that you would be prepared if someone like this came in. But clearly, you're second-guessing some things. This is someone that you want. Be prepared to put in the work Put in the work for this person. This person does not deserve less work, not, not work, effort. Efforts, interest, commitment, devotion, whatever you see it as. 
They don't deserve less of that because other people fucked up and fumbled when you did give what you should in a relationship. Do not allow that to affect something that is so unique and so separate and so far removed from these past situations. Okay? You've got the Queen of Swords here. So as far as this Two of Swords energy, what I told you about, this is just clarifying what, what I'm telling you and what you should do because you're clearly looking for some sort of advice. You don't know if you should take this offer of moving in together or a marriage possibly or or um you know going from from dating to being you know completely exclusive you don't know it shows here that you do know that you are going to pick a path and the path is going to be offering this cup of love or accepting accepting this cup of love from your current partner the person that you are currently seeing and dating okay with this four of pentacles right after it this is an indicator that you the real cause of confusion here is not knowing if you two are on the same page confirm that confirm that communicate make sure you're on the same page and if you're wondering well if i ask hey where do we stand with things that that might run them off are you then maybe this person is not for you because you should be able to go to your partner I'm sensing this is someone that you trust. You should be able to go to the person you trust, like a friend. If you if you're wondering, okay, when would we propose to when would we get married? It does do they want me to propose to them? Do that should are they going to propose to me? Same thing. When should we if you're these are questions that I think you're starting to wonder if you should ask or if you should not ask. And it you don't need to do that. Go make sure that you are on the same page with this person on this issue because it's consuming you. This is consuming. Oh, sorry. This is like, hold on. Is it going to focus or what? Look up, up, up. Maybe this is talking about you needing to focus. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm serious, but this is you needing to focus on a decision because this matches the energy of that first card. Make sure you're both on the same page with this decision that's coming up, whether it's entering a relationship, a long-term committed relationship, marriage, moving in together. Make sure you're both on the same page, okay? And because this is a cycle, if you don't do this, it's gonna you're going to continue on a cycle of choosing if you should put in the effort towards commitment and starting a new cycle with someone and getting the happiness or not. Because this came out as two cards. The ten of the ten. I mean, you guys can be really, really happy. You have something great coming to you. I think this is a wake up call to you that you are doing. Your, you are possibly on the path of committing a disservice to yourself. See where this goes. You know you want to, you know, and I think that you should see where this goes. If this is someone new. If this is someone that you're, they maybe you think they're going to propose to you or the question's been brought up recently and you're like, oh shit, I didn't know that we were going to be talking about that yet and blah, blah, blah. When I tell you if there's anyone that you are going to gather your shit, get your shit together for. To end, it's time to leave this cycle. It's time to leave this cycle of what you think this looks like. The only wand energy that has come out was that was the 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 um, knight of wands that we saw, and that's about hesitancy, and it surrounds this, and then we have this. Stop thinking that if you get married, it's going to end a divorce. You move in together, going to break up, going to have to get to separate places again. You get into a relationship, going to end up heartbroken. What the fuck? Listen, I'm going to say something to you as a friend. If that is your mindset, you should stay single. You should stay single. Love is not for the faint-hearted. The journey to it is not for the faint-hearted. It's not. It's not. You have to be able to pick up the pieces again and still have hope and ride towards the sun. You have to still have that in you. No one is going to reawaken that in you or heal you or no, that's bullshit. No. No, that's not a thing. 
you have to do this, some sort of wake up call for you. And just, just to confirmation, this person is a soulmate. Here's the judgment card. This person is a soulmate. And I, you don't know it yet. The reason you don't know it yet is because this person is divinely protected as well. And so if you are not going to follow through with this person, you will it will end up breaking up before you guys, before you can come to this realization and see it for yourself or before you can allow this soulmate, the cycle that you guys are supposed to experience in this lifetime to expire. Yes, you can fuck up what is meant for you. I hate when people say that. Oh, if it's meant for you, you can't miss it. Absolutely the fuck you can. I have seen drug addicts do it. I have seen, um, oh gosh, I've seen cheaters do it by just fucking up their entire marriage and their family. I have seen people ruin their careers, ruin business opportunities, um, opportunities with clients. I know you have as well. Yes, you absolutely can. Fuck up and fumble what is meant for you. Absolutely. Okay, this is not, I am not at your bedside coddling you, putting you to bed. You are a grown ass motherfucking person and you can absolutely fuck this up. You are being called to not do this. There is, this person is a soulmate of some sort. Now, I truly, I, I believe and know that there are many soulmates for people. I don't know how many you have met. I don't know how many, this could be the last one. I don't know. This could be the first one. This could be the only one. I don't know how many you have, okay? And I, I don't know how many you have already met in this lifetime. I know that this person is a soulmate. I think you either know this or you're wondering about it, but you have two twos and two fives in this in this uh, reading. Two, two, four, four. Or not two fives. Did I say fives? Sorry, I misspoke. Two fours and two, uh, two twos and two fours in this reading if that's an angel number for someone you probably see two two a lot you probably see four four a lot if you see two two four four a lot that's you that's this person i'm telling you this is a soulmate of some sort y'all are meant to be together this is divinely chosen this is a wake up call that this person is a soulmate to you Let me get a little bit more on this. So what is this person supposed to share with this? What are they supposed to share on this planet, on this earth together? What are they supposed to have? Mm. With this six of swords. Yeah, this person is supposed to be like a support to you, a resource to you. Pisces, you already know this person is a resource to you in some way, shape, or form. You already know that. Another four. Ah! Wow. Uh, this person is supposed to take you. Wow. This is insane. So as far as what this person, what you guys are supposed to share in this lifetime, as the six right here is letting me know that they are helping you overcome what has happened to you there's something in your life remember what i said is attached to this this sword energy that's there they're supposed to also help you get through get through this what did you do to yourself you did something to yourself pisces there's something that, that was done that you kind of had to pay for. It was karmic. And this person, and whether it was your fault or not, this, this person is coming into your life to be a resource to you. To help guide you to what you want. And what you want is a beautiful life with, with someone. And, a, and a, some sort of life that you just share with someone uniquely with them. And you share a home and you travel together and whatnot. That is who this person is supposed to be. You are meant to conquer this. You are definitely meant to conquer this. Right now, that's not the situation. I think you're in a kind of zone where you're healing from it. But 
you can't fully hear, heal from it because there isn't that final nail in the coffin. And you know, as I'm saying that this four of this four of swords here at the end is significant of of laying things to rest, laying old destructive patterns, habits, or or memories to rest, and that has everything to do with heartbreak. Everything to do with heartbreak. You've been waiting for such a long, you've been on such a journey for this with you know to to meet this person. I think it's time for you to indulge in that. So we have the six of swords that I'm telling you about right here. He, this person is meant to take this, you know, move you away from thinking things are going to go to shit. And they're not. They're not taking the swords away, you know. Let me take a sip of my drink. I'm gonna take a sip. I took a full, like a few gulps. I was thirsty. <laughs> all right, the six of swords. These are all separate cards. These cards don't actually really play into each other, which I really like about this message here, because this six of swords alone talks about someone being a resource to you, someone guiding you towards removing those swords, and you know they don't even realize that they're doing this. It's, this is your own personal journey that you're going on. And they don't realize it. They don't realize that they're they're helping you on your journey, on your path. But this is also supposed to be helping them. Y'all are soulmates, I'm telling you. Then we have the Queen of, of Wands. This Queen of Wands is totally about the wand energy that I told you about with the Ten of Wands that we saw, the Four of Wands. Um, about this decision, about either getting married, getting into a relationship, whatever. And that Knight of Wands. This is you conquering that. You are the queen now. You have mastered this. You have mastered this energy. You have mastered the trauma. That's what this relationship will bring you to. That's the plateau. Like we saw here. I remember I said the end of a cycle is bringing you into something better. You might have a child with this person. So far on the board, I'm seeing Leo, Libra. Leo, Libra strong. Leo, Libra strong. And uh, I think probably some cancer. Yeah. This is wild. Something else they're supposed to help you with is this. There is an imbalance in your life. You have blocks in your life. And it has to do, it's related to the sword energy, but it has to do more with balance. I don't know if you deal with any kind of situation related to anxiety or anything like that. I know I do. I deal with anxiety, ADD. Um, I'm slightly on the spectrum. I, I'm not shy about these things. I advocate for them. But there is something going on where this person is going to help remove a block that helps you um, emotionally and mentally. They're going to be helping you. I'm telling you, this this person is is divinely chosen for you. They really are. They they serve a purpose in your life. There's a, a purpose to being with this person. Four of swords. It's about putting the, that sword energy to rest. Another four. This is the, the, thir the third number four in this reading. Did you guys meet in April? Is your anniversary in April? Did you meet four months ago? Four weeks ago? Four years ago? I can see that if you met four months ago, how a discussion of moving in together, you're like, I don't know about that. But it seems that the discussion, if it's, let's say it's about moving into each, with each other, it has a lot to do with practicality. You're clearly staying with each other all the fucking time is what I'm sensing. You guys are very close. You and this person are stupid close. Okay? So you're seeing each other all the time. You're at each other's place anyways. And one of you have a lease, I think, that's ending soon. So, maybe you have to relocate in order to move with them. But this makes sense, though. It's a line. Uh, you're, you're fearing it, but you're not looking at how aligned it is. What are the odds? It's, it's all making sense. And you have, to, you have to have faith in that. Unless this person is toxic, abusive, 
um, manipulative, you know, all the horrible things, I, I don't think that you should just throw this to the wind. And I don't think you are. I think I'm talking to a Pisces that is really taking this seri so seriously that you're listening to a tarot reader online. Because you really want to know what ends up happening here, what the best course of action is. You're not trusting your own intuition. And you really need to, baby. You can get a personal reading if you want. Get a personal reading from me or any tarot reader you feel um, led to, drawn to, to go to, all right? And, and do that. Invest in yourself and in this person. Continue to invest in yourself and this person. And then we have the three of swords crossing this energy. This person is meant to unblock your heart chakra. This is not a bad card always. You might see this card and think, oh my God, heartbreak third party energy no this is also about a blocked heart chakra that's what's causing all of this that's what's causing all of this i noticed the high priestess and the motherfucking empress didn't come out okay we got two queens out here that's not like you that's not like you to be kind of like here when it comes to your confidence or security levels okay like you're not usually insecure so for you not to be a high empress or yeah high priestess i mean or or empress that's that says a lot to me that this is this is you don't know what to do and it's in a very pure of heart way this isn't i i don't sense anything manipulative on their end or your end anything like that and this i told just told you what this person's purpose is in your life this is deep dude this isn't like Oh, we're meant to just have kids and have a family and a life together. No, the fuck? No, this person is supposed to rattle your motherfucking world. This is a life partner. This is a life partner. This is going to be someone that you will always be proud to stand with. This will always be the first person you call. This is someone that either you will bury or they will bury you because that's how long y'all going to be together. This is divinely chosen. This is divinely chosen. And I can, maybe the, maybe the intensity of it is intimidating you. Totally valid, dude. That's a, it's a lot. I get it. But lean into your intuition. Please lean into your intuition. Okay. Let me see if there's any last messages. Fuck it. Is there a final message? Ah, yeah. Okay. So we've got this King of Pentacles and we've got the Magician card. This is letting me know that this is an offer that this person only has for you. If you're wondering if they are talking to anyone else, cheating on you, anything like that, that is a fuck no. They are still, they are seriously only thinking about you. That's the second king out. You have another king, king of cups on the table, and there's the queen of swords and the queen of pentacles. And we have the king of pentacles and the magician card. This person wants a whole life with you. This person wants a whole life with you, something like you've never seen before. And they want to do it with you. They feel like they can. They feel like you are a part of their journey. Crossing this energy is the Eight of Cups. Confirming what I said to you about their journey. They have been searching for you. In tarot, the moon card is Pisces. Every time I see the Eight of Cups, I'm like, this is a journey. This is either a journey about Pisces or to Pisces. Or having to do with Pisces. It's just, it's a journey. It's a karmic journey. And it's a beautiful karmic journey. Because this person is your karma. Karma is not bad. Not always bad. It's not. It's not. Karma is something to fear if you've done something bad. But you have not done something. This is, you are owed this kind, this level of commitment, of devotion. You, you deserve this. Okay? I love you. I hope that you take this truly this advice here um and that you don't self-sabotage that's what i'm concerned about is that you're going to self-sabotage this and ask too many questions or don't ask enough questions like it's okay to talk to your partner and make sure you're on the same page i it's okay to say hey we've been date we've been together four years are we going to get married and guess what if they're kind of wishy-washy but it's time to walk away it's time to walk away. But the cards here are saying to go and talk to this person for a reason. Because it is going to bring validation for you. Okay? Alright. I love you. I'll talk to you later. Bye.